Are you ready for some football? <laughs> it's a clear blue autumn day. You're wearing your favorite team's bold colors with pride. You're surrounded by dedicated and enthusiastic fans. You're cheering at the top of your lungs, and you can't take your eyes off the excitement that's happening on the field. Sound familiar? If you've been to a college football game, it does. There's nothing like the unity and spirit that college football can bring. We will have a marching band come across that field in 2015, okay? We will find a conference to play in. <laughs> or it will find us. And we will start a coaching search immediately to find the first head football coach to lead your owls out on that gridiron in 2015. I'm really excited. I think all of this is really exciting. Um, I love football and uh, I think it adds the camaraderie that we need as student athletes and it, it just gets everybody hyped up and ready to go. Uh, I mean, I'm excited. I've been waiting a long time being a senior. Uh, it's been a long time coming as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm glad that it's finally here. So. Are you a big football fan? I am. I'm a huge football fan. Even you're, if you're a senior, do you still foresee yourself coming back and going to the games? I do. Uh, I'm really interested in athletics. I'm a sport management major, so hopefully I'll be coming back as an alumni. I'm really excited. I think it's something that's been waiting for a long time, and I'm excited even though I'm graduating soon. I'm really excited to have the opportunity for my degree to be more well recognized, and I'm excited to come back as an alumni. So. It's very exciting. I mean, it's a big thing. I mean, obviously we are international, but we know how big the football is for the South, if especially over here. I'm Morgan Williams here for KSUOwls.com, and we're here in the Convocation Center. As Kennesaw just announced, it's football pro program set for fall of 2015. And here with me is President Daniel Papp. And now, President Papp, Kennesaw State is the third largest university in the state of Georgia. What do you think adding the football program will do to, you know, bring more awareness to the program in itself? Well, Kennesaw State, with the addition of football, is going to become much more well-known throughout the state and nationally as well. Uh, you've probably watched ESPN and some of the other national sports programs when that crawler comes across the bottom of the state, at the bottom of the, uh, your picture, and it says Kennesaw State 35, somebody else 20. It's going to add tremendous visibility to this university. And that's great for the students, that's great for the alums, uh, because it winds up adding to the value of their degrees, as well as increasing our connectivity with the community uh, in Cobb County and in northwest Georgia. Okay, and now what do you foresee the football program adding and enhancing to the overall presence of the university in the community? Well, there's study after study, first of all, that shows that uh, students, when, they're, when they have items, things to connect to on campus, wind up being much more engaged with the university and have higher graduation rates. Uh, so one of the things that we think this will add will, will be a couple of percentage points to our overall graduation rate, which is absolutely tremendous, giving both Governor Deals and Chancellor Huckabee's emphasis on complete college Georgia. So that'll be absolutely tremendous. It will also make a tremendous advantage for us uh, to work with people in the community and hopefully increase donations to the university, not just athletics, but also to the academic programs. Okay, well, we're all very excited. Thank you so much and congratulations. So thank you and congratulations to you and to the entire KSU Owl community. Go Owls. And I'm here with Vaughn Williams, he's athletic director. Vaughn, can you sort of tell us what the future holds for Kennesaw? Well, I think the future is bright. I think this is a tremendous milestone uh, for this university. And I think football will just enhance a piece of that puzzle in regards to our future and where we want to go as an institution. Now, as far as the Title IX requirements go for women's sports, can you tell us what you sort of foresee for that? Well, you know, uh, in the study that we submitted to the Board of Regents, uh, we talked about equestrian, we talked about crew, uh, we talked about sand volleyball, we talked about the emerging uh, NCAA sport acrobatic and tumbling. So there's some things on the table, and we're going to look into those much, much deeper in the fall uh, so we start to have a plan next year of wh which direction we're going to do and how long it's going to take us to get there. Now, talking about time and how long, 
We were talking about coaching staffs. Can you sort of give us a timetable as to when we should expect who that will be? Well, I hope that in March uh, that we're going to get this done. I hope that process will take four to five weeks, I hope, maybe less. Uh, but in March, that's what we want to do. We'll, we'll come out again and have a, a festive environment and festive thing and want to keep ourselves in the, in the media, keep ourselves in the forefront and continue to let people know that Kennesaw State's about action. I'm here with Vince Dooley. Vince, you were on the member of the Exploratory Committee, and you recommended that Kennesaw went ahead and go for the football team. What was your reasoning behind that? What positives did you think were going to come out of this? Well, I was chair of a 33-person committee that really cut across uh, the, the institution in the way of students and faculty and community leaders. And they just, uh, I've never enjoyed working with a committee as much as I did this group. And uh, all of them unanimously felt like that it was the right thing to do. Now, this was after nine months of study, and some of them were very critical. I mean, they really studied it hard, but they did feel like it, it was, they would certainly add to an institution that now was once uh, a, a commuter school, is now is a residential school, and something that will give it a, a, a better culture, will give it a band, will give it a fight song, uh, will uh, give it cheers, as we've heard today. And uh, all those things add to the pride of this being our school. And uh, because of that, I really felt like, and as the whole committee did, 33 members felt like that it was the thing to do. Now we're all very excited as we saw here today. What type of growth do you see this bringing to the university? Uh, in the way of uh, enrollment, you mean? Yes, sir. Well, I definitely think that uh, it will, will help enrollment, though the enrollment has been great as it is. We've been a very fast-growing institution, but this will help it uh, even more. Uh, People like to go where there's, uh, there's excitement uh, that football can bring and also a band can bring and a spirit that can bring. And to be a part of that is a wonderful experience. So I definitely think it will just add uh, to what has been a, a wonderful uh, institution that's been on the move with great leadership uh, under Dr. Papp, who is now taking it to another level uh, with, uh, with adding football. So. Um, I think that the future is just great, and as you can tell by today, everybody's excited about it. Now, you played such an important role in getting football here at Kennesaw State University. Can you sort of tell us the process? Great, great. Well, they've been working hard for years. It started off my freshman year where they had exploratory committee, and now fast forward to my senior year, I'm excited. Um, we actually played a very um, vital role this um, year where we went down to the Board of Regents, we lobbied, we SGA passed resolutions, and now we're here and we're announcing we're having football. So it's been a great process. Now, what type of reaction and support did you see from the students? Mm -hmm. Today, we just saw excitement, and that's that energy that we want to see on the football, you know, in the football stands 2015. I'm here with Randy Kapoor. He's president of Fifth Third Bank. Randy, can you sort of tell us the thought process behind the partnership with Kennesaw State University's new football team? Absolutely. No, it was a, it was a great opportunity for us to, to join forces with a uh, university that's on the rise, and we wanted to be a part of that. We're a brand here in Georgia that's growing. And uh, as we looked through a kind of a partner checklist, th this met every criteria. We had a we had a willing partner that was wanting, allowing us to come in and help shape what this was going to look like. It had a catalyst uh, with football being a big part of this. For us, it's beyond football. Football was clearly the catalyst, but for us, it's about really expanding our presence here in in Cobb County, in Metro Atlanta, uh, but also being a part of really elevating KSU athletics. I'm here with Kappa Delta Sorority. <laughs> Ladies, what was your reaction when you heard that Kennesaw was getting a football team? Um, I was personally really excited. I love football, and so I was so excited that we're finally getting a football team. Yeah, like we've heard rumors for so long that there was going to be one, and now that it's finally happening, it's just it's so exciting, especially yeah. for the student body. I'm here with the president of the Black and Gold Club, Zach Philiber. So, Zach, what are your plans as far as you now team spirit going to the football games? What do you sort of plan to do? Um, well, first of all, the Black and Gold is a club within athletics to set the traditions um, for our school. Basically, like any UGA, Georgia Tech, Florida State, big schools that have their traditions, that's what our um, club is going to start. So our plans in the future, we already have um, somewhat of 70 members um, in order to just get more students involved within athletics and to have a big presence at the games. Um, 
to basically, you know, just to feel that student atmosphere, not only at the games, um, but on campus as well. If you want to know about tickets or you have an interest in tickets, please go to KSUOwls.com and you'll find the website there and you can put your name in and tell if you're interested and then we can get back to you and inform you.